I know you've probably seen them like I have on a street corner or on an intersection. A person standing by themselves, gesturing and talking. And I used to think they were the mentally ill. But now, with the advent of wireless Bluetooth earbuds, I can't tell a mentally ill person from another person who's animated in their conversation walking down the street. I have to look and see. Are they talking to me? Hello? Are they talking to themselves? Who are they talking to? Even this morning, Clifford and I came out of our house and walking down the sidewalk was a guy. Clifford said, good morning! Completely oblivious. Had this device like this, things in his ears, had absolutely no idea that another human being had come anywhere around his orbit. Jesus looked over the crowd and said they were like sheep without a shepherd. Now that sheep metaphor is interesting because sheep are a lot like a person with Bluetooth earbuds and a device in front of their face. <laughs> Except the thing they're focused on is not what they're hearing and not what they're seeing, but the next blade of grass. When we think about pastures, we're not talking about the kind of pastures that we have here in North America. A pasture in the Holy Land looks like a rubble field. And right next to each little rock is a little blade of grass. And the sheep have to literally spin from morning to night going from blade of grass to blade of grass to survive. But they never look up. They wander and they just follow the little trails of blades of grass. And there have literally been documented cases of entire flocks of sheep falling into a ravine or going off a cliff because the blades of grass took them right to the edge and off they went. One of my favorite events at the Scottish Games is the sheep herding demonstration. The shepherd will come out with a border collie and the sheep will all be there, heads down, on the grass. The border collie and the shepherd will work and then move them from one place to the other. It's even more fun to watch them do it with ducks, but that doesn't fit the metaphor of today's gospel. <laughs> but the key thing is, is that it takes a shepherd to make sure that the sheep are in the right place, going the right direction. Because on their own, they only see what is right in front of their face. But the shepherd sees the whole horizon, sees the whole picture, sees where it is the sheep need to go, what it is they need for their safety, where it is that they need to be. Jesus said to his disciples, come away to a quiet place. Because they had been inundated with blades of grass all day long. And he knew they needed perspective. They needed to get away. They needed to have a place of quiet to refocus. And Jesus patterned for them over and over and over again what it was to live a balanced life. That when we focus on the blades of grass that are right in front of us, the struggles of the day, the problems, the anxieties, the news, everything around us, we can become paralyzed. We just go anxiously from blade of grass to blade of grass, and we have absolutely no perspective. And Jesus says the key is to step away. The key is look up. Look up and see the shepherd. Look up and listen to the shepherd. See what the shepherd is trying to say. To do that, we have to do what Jesus said to the disciples to do, which is go away to a quiet place. And that's hard to do in 21st century America. It is hard to find a place that's quiet. But Jesus says it is absolutely essential for us to step away to turn our devices off, to turn our TVs off, to turn our computers off, to 
turn the noise off, to turn everything off, and to find some place in our day, each and every day, where we can be quiet. And what are we supposed to do when we get there? I think three primary things. The first thing we need to do is just talk to God. Get it all out. Spew it all out. Can you believe what's going on? This and this and this and this and how am I going to fix this and what am I going to do about this and oh, did you see the news today? And, oh, and get it all out. Just spew it out. Everything you want to say, everything you're worried about, everything you're anxious about, everything you're concerned about, lay it all out. And when that's exhausted, then two things. One is, open the Bible and read the words of Jesus. A few, or a few more, depending on how much time you're giving yourself. See if anything pops out at you for you to pay attention to. And then finally, the hardest thing of all, be quiet, Listen. God, what do you want to tell me? What do I need to hear? Sometimes you may sit there and listen and you feel like you don't hear anything. But you are in the presence of God. And God honors that and uses that even if you're not consciously aware of that. To shift you. To shape you to move here. God created us. He used the sheep metaphor for a reason because he knows we're fixated on the blades of grass. But he offers to us shepherding care, shepherding love. Listen to the good shepherd who calls you by name. Go to a quiet place Stop looking at the blades of grass.